If you have been thinking about or wanting to add YouTube Shorts to your YouTube content strategy to blow up your reach, get more views, get more watch time, and just overall grow your channel more, but you just don't feel like you have the time on top of your already existing videos, on top of your already busy day-to-day -day life, this is the video for you. This is my not-so-secret secret strategy for turning your already existing YouTube videos into highly engaging, high-performing YouTube Shorts that are going to get thousands and thousands of views. I've only been playing around with this strategy for a little while now, a couple of YouTube Shorts uploads, and in that time I've gotten over 7,000 views with YouTube Shorts alone without having to do any of the background filming, editing, or work. And this is how I did all that and how you can do the same thing. So first up, you want to pick whichever one of your YouTube videos you want to turn into a short. You don't have to have any sort of plan or ideas as to what part of the video you want to turn into a short. Don't have have to have any plan as to how to actually edit it to turn it into a short, the AI takes care of all of that. Then as for which AI I use that I prefer best, I use Opus AI, which is an AI generator with lots of different uses. Just want to set the record from the get-go, this video is totally unsponsored. I'm not an affiliate, I'm not a sponsored creator, they have absolutely no idea I'm making this video or even talking about them. This tool has just been a game changer for somebody like me who otherwise despises shorts but absolutely cannot deny their power. So if you need or want YouTube Shorts as part of your YouTube growth and success strategy, but you just don't have the time to dedicate to creating Shorts, this is going to change the game. So once you get onto the Opus AI website, the first thing you do is copy paste the link to one of your videos or somebody else's videos. Or if it's a video that you have not yet posted to your channel, you can also upload a video from your computer or device. Then next it's going to ask you the length of time you want your short to be. Do you want it to be under 30 seconds? Do you want it to be 30 to 60 seconds? Do you want it to be a minute to a minute and a half? Whatever you prefer. There's also under that a little topic and keyword box where you can basically tell the AI what this video is about, what the topic is, to give it a better idea of what to actually make your short about. Personally, I've not found much need to do that. The AI is pretty good at figuring out exactly what the video is about and how to make it into a short. But if you do feel the need to, you can use this little bar to give the AI a little bit more information about the topic topic of your video. So then from there, go ahead and hit the get clips in one click button. And from there, it does all the work for you. It'll then give you an estimated amount of time for how long it's going to take to process your clips and turn them into shorts. And you can also take this time to look down below that where you can actually tell the AI what sort of vibe you want to give your shorts. Do you want it to be more like podcast style, more like a webinar, more like a reaction or a sports video, whatever you want. And what I find to be really, really cool about this tool is as it says, once you have uploaded your video, once you've sent it into processing, you can then safely leave the tab, leave the website, let it do all the work for you and go about your business. So if while it's processing and editing, you wanna be editing other content or doing non-YouTube related work, you can safely leave the website while it's in processing and they will email you once your clips are ready. On average for one of my five to 15 minute YouTube videos, it usually takes between 20 and 30 minutes for my clips to be ready. So if you're processing a video that's like an hour long or 30 minutes long, I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take to process and be ready, but for one of my videos from 5 to 15 minutes, that's about how long it takes. So then once you get your email that your clips are ready, all you do is just open up the email, click the little button on the email, and it takes you directly to your clips. You're then going to be able to see every one of the shorts they have generated from the video that you gave it. Beside each one of the shorts that it made for you, it's going to give you a highly clickable title to copy paste into your short when you upload, as well as a sort of little description or explanation that basically tells you what the value of this short is. Depending on the vibes and the topic of each one of your shorts, it's going to tell you like, like this is why somebody would be interested in this video, this is how it's going to serve them, which I also love to use when I'm crafting the descriptions when I'm actually uploading the shorts. I basically take what it tells me in that little explanation and turn it into a description for my short. As well, beside each one of those shorts, it's also going to give you a ranking or score out of 100 to tell you how good of a chance this short has to perform. So usually the top short is the one that has the best chance of performing, and then as you go down, it's the ones that have a less good chance, but still 
a really good chance. And then as for each one of the clips themselves, the AI has taken care of cropping the video to the proper short size, adding colorful and engaging subtitles on top of your video, and then it's ready to download and upload to YouTube and use without having to do any of the work yourself. However, if you want to make any edits to the video, it just made you. If there are any tweaks you want to make, it is possible and you can. Right beside the download button, there is an edit button where it basically takes you to a little side page with lots of edits and tweaks you can make. If for example, you want to brand your shorts, if you want to add like a watermark or an overlay to your clip, that's where you can do that. If there are any kind of typos or mistakes made to the subtitles, this is where you can change that. If you want to change the font or the coloring of the text in your subtitles, this is the place to change all of that before you eventually download. So it really does give you full control over the videos and shorts that it creates for you or if you really don't have time to edit anything, it does all the work for you. So now on average, whenever I upload a brand new video to Opus AI, usually it gives me about four to five shorts that it generates for every one video I give it. But if you're looking to have a full month of shorts generated for you, you can actually get a little bit strategic here. Take a handful of your longer form videos from your channel that were your highest performing most recent uploads because those are the videos that were the most engaging that your audience responded best to. That actually gives your shorts the best chance of performing also. And then if feeding one of your regular videos to the AI usually gives you on average four to five shorts, if you were to feed the AI about 10 of your most recent uploads or your highest performing uploads, that's going to give you more than 40 shorts to upload and a full month's worth of shorts content. Without, I might add, without having to film or edit or do any of the work yourself. So now I'm sure by now your burning question is whether or not this tool is free or if you have to pay for it. So this is the part where I unfortunately tell you that it does come with a really amazing free trial where it actually gives you an hour and 30 minutes of credits for free without them adding any watermarks to your videos without having to pay for it so that you can really get a feel for whether or not this tool is for you, if it really does what you want it to, if it really creates high quality content for you, whether or not it actually performs on your channel. But unfortunately, the free trial does eventually end and then you do have to pay to add more credits and more time to your account. Again, this video is totally unsponsored. I'm not being paid to make this video. I don't have any kind of affiliate links. There are no benefits or payments coming to me whether or not you decide to actually pay for this or use this. Actually, at this point, I have not paid for it myself either. I've only been using the free trial to see whether or not it works for me, if this is something I like, something I'd use in the future. But I definitely do think, in my opinion, the price is right for everything that it does for you, all the time it saves you, the high quality products it actually provides you. I definitely don't see myself needing any more than the 40 hours credit a month that it gives you. Again, my videos are only like 5 to 15 minutes, so if I feed it several of my 5 to 10, 15 minute videos every month, I will get a fair good amount of shorts for that price every single month and probably have some left over. So I think that just like most things as a creator, it comes comes down to personal preference and opinion. Is this something you're actually going to use? Is this something actually worth your money? Is this something that is going to benefit your channel and help you as you go along? For all I know, there might actually be another tool similar to this one out there that is free to use, that doesn't charge you. But as far as my own research and tools that I've tried, this is definitely the best one I've ever used and definitely worth my money. But that, you guys, concludes everything that I want to share with you guys in this video all about my little system and my little not-so-secret secret as to how how I turn all my videos into high-performing YouTube shorts. Hopefully this video was helpful to you in some way, shape, or form. As always, thank you all for watching. I love you all to the moon and back, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!